well, you know what they say, right? Better late than never. <laughs> That's an understatement. So in this video, we're talking about Warmoth, and if you don't know who they are, they are an online retailer for guitar bodies, guitar necks, hardware, all sorts of stuff. Basically, you can build your own custom guitar with their bodies, their necks, to your specific specifications. For those of you who don't already follow me, a couple years ago, I kind of got into the whole um, parts caster build, a telecaster build, inspired by my good buddy Stephen Barton, and I got a used warm-off neck on the used market, and it is a telecaster baritone conversion neck and I fell in love with that thing. It's a beautiful neck, it's a beautiful guitar, it's over there. If I can dig up the B-roll, I'll throw it up in the video. Anyhow, I fell in love with that guitar and building a parts caster. And uh, when I posted that video, it got a little bit of traction. And one of the people who saw it was Aaron from Warmoth. And we kind of struck up a little bit of a conversation, a little bit of a friendship. He suggested, why don't I go through the builder and spec out a baritone conversion neck for a new build and of course i said yes so i guess technically this video is sponsored but uh yeah i don't care i love these necks these guitar necks they are the best most comfortable necks i've played this one in particular i wish i could have it on all of my guitars it is um well let me just show you um so this is the build it is a guitar fetish body with some guitar fetish pickups, uh, hip shot bridge. I don't remember exactly where I got all of these parts. Some of these might be Amazon specials. These might be f actual genuine Fender parts. I got a genuine Fender uh, neck plate back here. Um, Fender string ferrules. I love this build, and but the centerpiece is this amazing roasted maple warm off baritone conversion neck. Uh, it's so smooth. It's so stable. It just makes me wish, like I said, I had this neck on all of my guitars. The fit and finish is spectacular. I, I'm blown away at how amazing it turned out. I have go to locking tuners on it right now. I had it specced out to come pre-drilled for to fit these tuners. And that's an option you have. And I, I couldn't be happier, and I've been sitting on this video for over a year. So, to Aaron and the guys at Warmoth, first of all, I'm genuinely sorry. I let life and work and burnout and my own issues get in the way of fulfilling, you know, this video in a timely manner. But, nonetheless, I'm here to tell you that Warmoth necks, especially if you're going for a conversion neck, because I mean, that's kind of my, what my experience is, they're top notch, they're top tier. They really kind of set the bar. I'm in love with this thing. I can't wait to make another one. I already kind of got a few parts kicking around. Definitely gonna get another uh, baritone conversion kind of built and I'm stoked. So. Now that I've gushed sufficiently, why don't I go over some of the specs of this thing and you can get a kind of an idea of uh, what we got going on here. So as I said, it is a baritone conversion neck. It fits into any standard Fender Telecaster pocket and it fit in here perfectly. I don't have any shims. I couldn't be happier with how it fit right right from the word go. So with the baritone conversion necks, they are, it turns a standard Telecaster, which is 25 and a half inches, to 28 and 5 eighths inches. That is pretty long. That's definitely baritone um, territory. We're certainly not gonna get into that stupid debate here. It's a long guitar and it's great for tuning down. You get, um, you know, the tension that you need so that you don't have to throw humongous strings on it, depending on your tuning, of course. Um, we're not gonna go into that. For Modern Witchcraft, the band I'm in with Steven, we have this tuned down to uh, A flat, a dropped A flat, and uh, I think I have a 64, 64 on here. Tension is great for me. Again, it turns a 25 and a half inch scale Telecaster to 28 and 5 eighths. It is a roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fretboard. 
and it's pretty seamless. It's beautiful. It's super, super stable. The tuning stability is incredible, I find, with roasted maple. Um, and that uh, is in large part why I wish they were on all of my guitars. The nut width is 1 and 11 16 inches wide, or uh, 43 millimeters, and that is what Warmoth refers to as modern medium. Very comfortable in my hands. The neck profile is what Warmoth calls standard thin. It has a 12 inch to 16 inch compound radius. Uh, again, very comfortable in my hands. I got it spec'd out with 24 jumbo stainless steel frets because I'm a savage. It has black side dots. I got no dots or fret markers on the neck. I prefer the clean aesthetic. I think it looks great, but I do have the black side markers on the side of the neck. I got a black Graph Tech Tusk nut. Again, just to help with the tuning stability. It's made with graphite, so it helps with, uh, you know, preventing binding and whatnot. And it has a clear satin nitro finish. Uh, again, I have go to locking mini locking tuners in here. And I mean, it's the centerpiece of this guitar. It, it, this guitar is, you know, it punches above its weight because of the neck. For those of you guys looking for baritones or kind of interested in doing some sort of parts caster and you want something that's a little more stable with lower tunings, definitely check out Warmoth and their um, conversion necks. Again, they fit any standard Fender pocket for a Telecaster. They, don't quote me, it might fit a Strat pocket, but I know for sure these uh, guitar fetish bodies come routed with a standard Telecaster neck pocket. So that's why it fit this particular body without issue. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. I have every intention on purchasing another conversion neck for my next build. That'll give me three Telecaster builds. Um, let me let me grab the other Seafoam green one just to kind of show you. This is the one that uh, got me hooked on Warmoth necks. So this is the, the one that kind of started it all. This is a, a also a Warmoth conversion neck. It has a different profile. Um, it's it's uh, noticeably thicker. I don't have those specs though, but this is the neck that um, kind of made me fall in love with Warmoth necks and started the whole journey with uh, this one. So I have two Telecaster parts caster builds both with Warmoth necks, and I just I just couldn't be happier. So, again, I want to thank Aaron over at Warmoth um, for a just being such a cool dude, willing to have uh, conversations via email and just shooting the shit, and also for trusting me to make it uh, you know a video and and sending me this neck, letting me spec out this neck, and you know um, I couldn't be more honored to work with them. Hopefully, I didn't burn that bridge by taking so long. Again, uh, I humbly apologize to the guys over at Warmoth for it, in fact, taking so long. And I want to do it, you know, in the video because I want to hold myself accountable. But that's kind of all I have on this, man. If you guys are looking for a baritone, check out Warmoth.com. They have not only just necks, but they have all sorts of different custom body shapes. You can get custom routes. Your, your finish choice. I mean, the, the options are almost endless. It's definitely a wormhole that if you got a couple hours, you know, give it, a, give it a shot, take a look. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to Aaron and the guys over at Warmoth. And uh, yeah, man, check them out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourself, be useful to someone. We'll see you in the next one.